So what we're looking for today is any signs of mineralization. We're right near a uh, spot where we found a uh, red bed float boulder with copper, silver, gold. Right here you have a zoolite vein with a little bit of oxidization on it. And uh, looks like a bit of copper staining up here. So we're going to take a look around and see if we can find more of these. So for those of you who don't know what zoolite is, zoolite is a mineral uh, which is formed uh, when volcanic rocks and volcanic ash are affected by um, alkaline groundwater. So uh, these are uh, microporous alumino silicate uh, minerals and I think they're used in uh, something to do with food prep uh, and uh, they can also be made artificially or something like that but what we're looking for today is these where we see copper mineralization and oxidization little vein right there of zoolite got more on there and uprooted tree helps us out so you can see more zoolite you have some uh, zoolite quartz calcite Tons of stuff on this claim. Nice little piece right there. So according to an old report, a sample was found with uh, upwards of 2% copper in a zoolite vein. So that's what we're looking for. They've had extensive logging in the last 30 years, so we're hoping something is Expose something somewhere. Speck of pyrite and quartz. Had some zoolite on it, but nothing that great. So we can't find anything, but we'll definitely keep our eye out in our travels for samples with zoolite and copper. Looks like an epidotized rock, almost a quartzite-like vein. <laughs> 